All right, let's get serious for a second. I promise to talk quick. In 1870, Congress voted to make Christmas a federal holiday, and President Ulysses Grant signed it into law. The idea was that Christmas would unify the country after the Civil War, because nobody was getting along. Kind of like the situation in America today, where divisions are everywhere. Protests, riots, lives that matter, discussions of sexuality. Democrats, Republicans, independents, libertarians, anarchists. Who's naughty? Who's nice? Gun rights, LeBron or Michael. Immigrants, refugees, religious zealots, and secular progressives. Atheists, evangelicals, the list goes on. Do you watch Fox News? Do you watch MSNBC? We all agree nobody's watching CNN. Okay, look, we're divided. I contend that Christmas can once again be a great unifier. The Christmas season doesn't have to be extended weeks of depression, loneliness, binge spending, consumerism, overeating, and family stress. I mean, who really needs another gift card to the gap? Yes, I've got a love-hate relationship with the elf on the shelf, but he's not going anywhere. What if we return to the celebration of an eternal God entering the flesh and activity of human history to miraculously interact with us, to bring us life and peace, God with us? And while there are those that say religion and its expressions have caused more war and strife than anything else in history, I'll remind you that money causes war too, but I don't see folks complaining about its existence. Historically, atheistic communist countries haven't been exactly peaceful either. Hey, I believe a legitimate relationship with the God of peace, love, mercy, and justice does the exact opposite of that. Impossible, you say. Well, that's the message of Christmas. It's an expression of the impossible. The reason for the season isn't reasonable at all. And you may say that unity amongst us is impossible. But what if God, through the power of Christmas and its message, could destroy all our misunderstandings and misconceptions? Because, let's face it, if peace and joy are possible possessions, then why don't you want to get some? Regardless of what you believe about the historic person of Jesus of Nazareth, the words, love one another, do unto others as you would have done unto you, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Perhaps these are words worth implementing in your Christmas expression over the next few weeks. Perhaps unity and the impossible may just invade our lives. Love y'all. God bless. Here's a poke and Merry Christmas.